Shinkansen vs Chinese High Speed Rail, and who is winning the race. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of high speed rail, comparing two engineering giants, Japan's Shinkansen and China's high speed rail. These trains aren't just about speed, they're about technological innovation, safety, and even global influence. So, let's explore how these two countries are racing on the tracks and on the world stage, including the latest advancements that could take us up to 400 kilometers per hour. First, let's look at the history. Japan's Shinkansen, the world's first high-speed rail, began operations in 1964, just in time for the Tokyo Olympics. It was a symbol of Japan's post-war recovery, designed to connect major cities quickly and efficiently. The Shinkansen set the standard for what high-speed rail could achieve, and it was the first of its kind to exceed 200 km per hour regularly. China, on the other hand, was a latecomer to high-speed rail. The country didn't start developing its network until the 2000s, However, China quickly made up for lost time. By 2008, it had launched its first real high-speed rail service, and within a decade, it had built the largest high-speed rail network in the world, surpassing Japan and every other country combined. Today, China's network stretches over 40,000 kilometers. Now let's dive into the technology that makes these trains so remarkable. Japan's Shinkansen was revolutionary for its time, using a distributed traction system where each car has its own motor. This system gives the train better acceleration and braking, which is especially important on Japan's mountainous terrain. The Shinkansen is also known for its exceptional safety record, with zero fatalities due to train accidents since its launch. China, on the other hand, took a different approach. They initially imported technology from countries like Japan and Germany, but quickly adapted and improved upon it. One of China's key innovations is the CR400, which can reach speeds of up to 350 km per hour. These trains are not just fast, they are designed to be energy efficient and highly reliable, capable of operating in various climate conditions across China. But China is not stopping there. The latest news from April 2024 is that China is developing a new high-speed train model, the CR450, which will be able to operate at speeds of up to 400 km per hour. This new model will be 12% lighter than the CR400, consume 20% less energy, and offer 20% better braking performance. The CR450 is part of China's broader innovation project, which also includes advancements in infrastructure, such as high-speed railways, bridges, and tunnels. But it's not just about who has the fastest train. Both Japan and China are using their high-speed rail expertise to influence the world. Japan has exported its Shinkansen technology to countries like Taiwan and India, emphasizing reliability, safety, and experience. For instance, India's first high-speed rail project, the Mumbai Ahmedabad Corridor, is being developed with Japanese assistance, showcasing Japan's commitment to international collaboration. China, on the other hand, is pushing its high-speed rail as part of the Belt and Road Initiative, which aims to build infrastructure that connects Asia with Africa and Europe. Chinese high-speed rail technology has already been exported to several countries, including Indonesia, where the Jakarta-Bandung high-speed rail project is set to be a major milestone. This project is particularly significant as it represents China's growing influence in Southeast Asia. This competition between Japan and China is more than just economic, it's geopolitical. By building infrastructure in other countries, both Japan and China are strengthening their ties and increasing their influence globally. The export of high-speed rail technology has become a tool of diplomacy, as these projects often come with financial support and long-term partnerships. Let's take a closer look at some of the engineering marvels that set these trains apart. Japan's Shinkansen trains are known for their lightweight design, which was a necessity due to the country's weaker roadbeds and infrastructure. The use of advanced materials has allowed Japan to maintain a high-speed network despite these limitations. Additionally, Japan's focus on distributed traction, where each car has its own motor, allows for better stability and performance, particularly in Japan's earthquake-prone regions. China's approach, meanwhile, emphasizes robustness and scalability. The CR400 Foxing trains, for example, are designed to operate in extreme weather conditions, from the freezing winters of Harbin to the scorching summers in southern China. The CR450, which will soon be unveiled, is expected to push these limits even further. The train's aerodynamic design reduces air resistance, making it more energy efficient, while its lightweight structure allows for higher speeds without compromising safety. Another key difference is in the infrastructure. Japan's Shinkansen network was built gradually, with each new line incorporating lessons learned from previous ones. This has resulted in a highly efficient and reliable system, but one that is also expensive to expand. 
China, by contrast, has rapidly built its network from scratch, often using the latest technology available. This has allowed China to create the world's largest high-speed rail network in record time. But it has also led to challenges, such as the need for ongoing maintenance and upgrades. Looking ahead, both countries have ambitious plans for the future. Japan is developing the maglev train, which could reach speeds of up to 500 km per hour, making it one of the fastest trains in the world. The maglev represents the next generation of high-speed travel, using magnetic levitation to eliminate friction and achieve unprecedented speeds. China, meanwhile, is focusing on expanding its high-speed rail network even further, with the CR450 set to be a game-changer in the industry. This new train will not only set new speed records but also redefine what is possible in terms of energy efficiency and environmental impact. China's continued investment in high-speed rail is part of its broader strategy to lead the world in infrastructure, development and technological innovation. So, who's winning the race? It depends on how you look at it. Japan has the experience and safety record, while China has the scale and ambition. But one thing's for sure, high-speed rail is shaping the future of travel, and both Japan and China are leading the way. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights into the world of technology, engineering, and geopolitics.